All right, welcome to this new video. In this video, we're going to talk about market maker models. And in this exact framework, most of the concepts you learned so far in this 2024 mentorship, they're all coming together. First, we'll go over the framework and I'll give you a whole game plan how you can play this. And then we're going into the charts to see some examples. So without further ado, let's dive in. When you hear the term market maker model, you should think about the two frameworks here on the right side. You have a market maker buy model right here and a market maker sell model right here. Those are opposite from each other. Inside this market maker buy model, you can see this if you zoom in. First, you have the sell side of the curve, price trades lower, got the sell side of the curve into a higher time frame PD array. It can be a value gap, can be a low or look. You know what PD arrays are by now. Inside that higher time for PD array, you see a market structure shift, an aggressive one that we call a smart money reversal. And with that sales of the curve and a smart money reversal, that indicates that you're possibly going to start the buy side of the curve going upwards. When price trades lower, I'm talking about the sell side of the curve. When price trades higher, I'm talking about the buy side of the curve. Very important here is that higher time frame PD array. You want to see that aggressive sales, aggressive buys inside a higher time frame PD array. Sometimes the aggressive buys and sales are not too obvious, but it will be confirmed after that first for value gap that is holding. Together with the sell side of the curve, spark on universal and the buy side of the curve, there are way more concepts you can frame inside this whole market maker model. For example, if you have a market maker buy model, like this example, you have failure swings at the sales of the curve, waiting for the buys of the curve to take them all out. Secondly, mitigation blocks on the sales of the curve can be reused at the buy side of the curve. We're going to talk about for value gaps, or blocks, breakers, kill zones, and many more. This is an example of a market maker buy model, vice versa. You have a market maker sell model. We have your original consolidation. We have a higher time frame premium array up here, smart money reversal, and then going lower, targeting the original consolidation. An important addition to this framework is called time frame alignment. And this is a concept taught by the MMXM trader. And it's as follows. If you see a monthly PD array, you want to look at the daily for your market maker model from the weekly to the four hour, daily one hour, four hour 15, etc. So use this and memorize this or take notes from this when you are going to hunt for market maker models. So for example, if I see a monthly bullish per value cap, it's a discount array. I want to frame a market maker buy model from that. Then I'm going from the monthly, then I'm going to the daily to look for a market maker buy model. If I have a four hour bearish value gap, it's a premium array. I'm going to the 15 minute to look for a market maker sell model. Quick note, you can deviate from this alignment, but you'll notice when backtesting this, the cleanest market maker models form at these time frames. So now the exact game plan before we dive into the charts. Your higher time frame drawn liquidity must be clear. And here I'm talking about the internal range liquidity to external range liquidity or external range liquidity to internal range liquidity. The daily bias videos from this mentorship play a key role in this. So if you don't understand this yet, go back to those three videos to see how you can frame that clear drawn liquidity. If we have that clear drawn liquidity, then you're using the time frame alignment to apply this on your drawn liquidity. Inside the curve you are playing, that can be the buy side of the curve where you're longing or the sell side of the curve if you're shorting. There is, we are going to hunt for your lower time frame PD arrays and setups. So the school model, the 2022 mentorship model, like whatever model you have, your entry model needs to be in line with your market maker model. Also for the intraday traders that watch this video, you don't need to play the whole curve. You can take multiple trades within the curve. I will go over this in the, in the examples in a second. And a tip, if you're new to this, when you're training your eyes to see market maker models, only focus on following different value gaps. Ignore the breakers, ignore the order books for now. Just follow the value gaps and then build on that knowledge. Okay, enough theory. Let's dive into the charts to see some examples. In this first example, we're looking at ES at the weekly chart. And the first step from our game plan is, do we have a clear drawn liquidity? Internal to external, external to internal. Here, we have a tap into this weekly BC and we close all the way up there. This is a very bullish signal. So I'm expecting a move internal range liquidity to external range liquidity. But draw liquidity is going to be this high. We are at the weekly, so that means we're going to hunt for the market maker model, 
my frame alignment weekly to four hour. So now let's dive to the four hour and see what we got. So now you're looking at a four hour chart. We had that original consolidation right here. This red area, if you're in a market maker buy model, this is called a distribution area. So the first stage distribution, we had it right here. And then we went lower to the gray area as your smart money reversal area. So here you have your original consolidation, your first stage of distribution. Then we trade lower into the weekly BC. And here you see the smart money reversal. We tap into it and then boom, upwards, leaving a big for value gap. You have one time to get in, second time to get in, and then we displace higher. Even have a third time to get in here with this bullish order book before going to the target. So here we have a weekly internal to external and a four hour market maker buy model. So always have this in mind when you're looking for a market maker buy model. Here we're looking at NASDAQ at the daily. And you see here on Monday, we've taken out two daily lows. So sell side liquidity pool. And here on Tuesday, we took out that Monday low before I move upwards. And this is currently a live chart. And here we have a daily stibby resting here. So drawn liquidity is a daily external range liquidity, a low towards internal range liquidity, a for value gap, a bearish for value gap. Now let's go from the daily to the one hour time frame alignment to spot a market maker buy model. You're looking at this, that exact moment when price took out the daily low was during the London kill zone. And then we had displacement upwards, leaving a for value gap. This is a movement in a higher time frame PD array that can be labeled as a smart money reversal. But upwards, leaving the first for value gap, first stage of accumulation, here the second stage of accumulation with a second for value gap right here. And then we displaced upwards. Market maker buy model can be already completed here at this equal highs is a nice drawn liquidity and eventually target the daily SIBI. So this is a live chart that probably will be here later in a few hours, but here is a daily external to internal and then combined inside that a one hour market maker buy model. So here you have your original consolidation. You have your distribution, lower, smart money reversal, accumulation one, accumulation two, paired with those two for value gaps. And what I mentioned before, if you're new to this, just focus on the for value gaps. Yes, of course, there's an order book right here as well. See how the bodies are respecting that. So you can add multiple PD arrays to this, but just focus on the for value gap first and then focus on the rest. And here we're looking at a live daily chart on the DXY. And you see here we have this daily bullish for value gap. And John liquidity is a daily internal range liquidity to external range liquidity. So we are at the daily. So let's see on the one hour if we can frame a market maker buy model around this. Here we are at the one hour. And this is a very nice example because sometimes price comes into the higher time frame PD array. In this case, the daily bullish for value gap. And it moves away, but then it comes back one more time. It doesn't need to sweep this low. Most of the time in these lows, there's an SMT with a correlated pair. And why I mentioned follow the for value gaps earlier is when you follow the for value gaps here, there are none. But here, they start to form. So you know, okay, almost game time. This is your first for value gap. So your smart money reversal is inside that daily bullish for value gap, for value gap one. Another for value gap right here. Got tagged a few times and then... We're going to the original consolidation right here. And at the time of the recording, we just tagged that completing the market maker buy model. So original consolidation down here, sell set of the curve, smart money reversal right here, for value gap one, for value gap two, and then buy set of the curve towards the highs right here, completing the model. And now let's take this one more step further because we are from a daily discount array, internal to external. We had a one hour market maker buy model, but what we're going to do is here from a one hour discount array, we can go to the five minutes to see if we can have a lower time frame market maker buy model on the five minutes. So the higher time frame perspective is the one hour internal to external. And let's see on the five minutes what we have right there. Now we are at the, at the five minutes at the lower one hour for value gap with the targets right here. Sells it up the curve. 
mark money reversal inside that one hour BC, then display it upwards, leaving a value gap, for value gap one, value gap two, towards the draw liquidity, completing a five minute market maker buy model inside the one hour market maker buy model. Price fractal. Let's do the same at the other one hour bullish value gap. The original consolidation right here, that's the target. Sales of the curve. We come into that one hour busy. Here's accumulation. Here's smart money order pairing. Display it upwards. Value gap one. Place up again. Value gap two. And then at the second stage of accumulation, we go to the target right there. So zooming out, this was the one hour market maker buy model. Inside that one hour market maker buy model, when you know your smart money reversal, you can frame your trades even from this one hour value gaps, you can have mini market maker buy model inside. These are your intraday trades. Sells of the curve in London, buys of the curve towards New York. And here as well, sells of the curve, buys of the curve. So here's where your time frame alignment comes in. And here in this final example, we're looking at Euro US dollar at the four hour chart. And right here, we have a weekly high and two weekly highs right here being taken out by this run upwards. So aggressive buys, aggressive sells. This itself can be a market maker sell model on the 50 minute chart. Looking at this displacement lower, it was outside the kill zone. Look at what we created. We created a four hour internal range liquidity. So a bearish value gap where we can go to lower time frame, time frame alignment, four hour to the 15 minute to look at shorts towards external range liquidity. And where's external range liquidity here? These are all filler swings. And why are they filler swings? Because these swing lows don't take out this insignificant liquidity pool. But now let's go to the 50 minute to frame a trade around this. But here you look at the same four hour Tibby. And this was NFP Friday. And as you see, was there a possibility for a 50 minute market maker sell model? I would say we don't. So here you have an example where you have that four hour drawn liquidity, the four hour internal range to external range liquidity, but there's no market maker sell model on the lower time frame. So you just, based on this concept, you missed the trade. Let's continue with the same pair. So we missed this sell model here at the four hour SIBI because of NFP Friday, big displacement lower. But look at Tuesdays and Wednesdays movement upwards here. What do we have here? We have the four hour SIBI, order flow is bearish. We are at the OT area. Here we have a bearish breaker. You could take the wicks or the buddies. That's up to trade discretion. You have the order block inside this four hour SIBI. So here we have a four hour SIBI, a breaker, an order block, and OTE. There are many confluences for price to turn around. So I'm expecting an internal range liquidity to external range liquidity move. So based on that, let's go to the 50 minute and see if we can get that entry. So here we are at that overlapping part between the bearish breaker, the bearish order block, and also the four hour SIBI in, inside OT area. And now we are just looking at the market maker sell model. And you know how it looks like. So now what we're looking at is, do we see displacement lower leaving a value gap, hinting at the smart money reversal inside this area? And how would it look like? Your orig original consolidation would be down here. You have nice failure swings below that. So your target can all also be already like these lows, for example, right here. Let's say this is your liquidity, low hanging fruit. Let's see if we can follow some displacement lower. There's no displacement lower here. So no smart money reversal yet. We are creating some structure here. So some premium arrays, but we still have this bullish 50 minutes value gap and this order block on the discount side to hold price back. And this is quite significant. So here, price is hinting that we are failing the discount rate, so we want to go lower. And here in this area is your first value gap. This will be your confirmation for value gap. Well, and this candle says enough. Bodies are closing below the value gap, just a wick. So next for value gap is a nice entry for value gap. Let's see where we can get that. Well, not here. Look at the time. We are approaching a new day. And here, there's a new value gap created. So here you could already take the entry. Where could price go up here for rebalance? 
we could go back to this order block and for value cap. So when I take a trade, I would say leave this open. So that means take your entry right here. Your stop loss should be above that for value cap price. Should be able to come back there. Maybe even the mean threshold. So mean threshold, the 50% of this average order block. And then your target should be this low for a 1 to 4. Or eventually the lows here for 1 to 5. Let's do 1 to 4 for this example. And let's see what price does. So it comes back to the value gap, sweeps the high here. One more time. That's why you need to have your stop loss that, that you're allowing the, the trade, like let the trade breathe into your possible areas. And here, price goes lower and eventually goes here to your target. And zooming out, original consolidation, buy side of the curve, smart money reversal inside a higher probability intergeneration liquidity area, the overlapping part between OTE, for our SIBI, for our breaker, for our order block. Prevail gap one, prevail gap two, here's your entry towards your target. And eventually, you see the move completing the market maker sell order right here. Thank you for watching this video. In this video, we went over the basics of the market maker model. First, we went over the framework, how it looks like, and based on the time frame alignment, how you can frame an exact game plan to use this. Then we went over a few examples on different charts and also different time frames, how you can frame your intraday, but also higher time frame trades around that. Inside your market maker model, you can use your daily bias, you can use TPD arrays, and you can use most of the concepts you learned inside this mentorship. If you enjoy this kind of videos, please like and subscribe, share it with all your trading friends, and I'll see you in the next one.